we're doing the flight portion of our small UAV training on the Raven platform. So we're just practicing our pre-flight checks, launching, and some basic flight maneuvers. So we have a laptop that's going to be our video recording and our flight data, uh, a hand controller for the actual vehicle operator. Uh, GCS transmitter is on, it is on. The payload system is different camera options that you can mount on the platform itself, whether it be night, gimbal camera, daytime front look, side look. It's a force multiplier because it gives us a sky view of the battlefield and lets us send that data up to our commander. <laughs> What's that called? Keeping the talent happy. Yeah, we had two good launches today in the morning, and then our third launch took three tries. The system is uh, designed to come apart so it doesn't break on impact, it just disassembles, and uh, we just reassemble it and get it right back up in the air and mission capable again. Well, they give us a uh written instruction beforehand, so we have two tests before we come out here. We have a pre-flight checklist that we do, which is called our M1. We have to get done, and then this is M2 that we're doing today. And we're working on the launch and the actual um, aerobics of the drone flight. I fly for college at Vermont Tech. I've done 10 flight hours in a Cessna. Drone piloting is kind of uh, what I want to get into. The drone operator position for the military is 15 Whiskey, which is, I think, Reaper, and then 15 Charlie, which is the Great Eagle. There's contracting positions that you can get after um, being a drone pilot. So if you're interested in drone piloting, see if your state has one of those MOSs, or just talk to a recruiter or retention NCO.